we learned about the difference between dirt and soil. And this video, we're going to explore the concept of how much soil on our earth is actually usable. So today we're going to look at a simple apple. We've had, I've eaten tons of apples and I'm sure you have too and they're delicious. But today this is going to serve as our example for what the earth looks like. So we're going to go through and we're going to decide how much of this apple is actually usable soil on our earth. Make sure to follow along with our worksheet, making sure to label each part of the earth as we divide it up in our demonstration. So first I'm going to cut my earth or my apple into four equal pieces. I'm gonna cut that, and cut that. Cut that, set the knife over there for safety. So we had a whole apple, and now we have four different pieces. One, two, three, and four. So of the earth, three-fourths of the earth, or three pieces of four, is water. So of these three pieces represent water on the Earth's surface, and this piece still remains. So I'm going to set these guys off to the side. Since water is not land or dirt, and we can't use it to grow food or use it for soil, so we're setting it off to the side. Now we have our remaining piece, one-fourth of the apple. Now I'm going to cut this apple into half, somehow. So now the fourth is into a half, and one half of this represents the uninhabitable lands, such as like the deserts or the swamps or the Arctic, where it's either too hot or the climate is too severe to grow anything, and it's hard to reach the soil surface. So this portion of the earth is going to go over here with the water since it's unusable. Yet we still have this piece left. I'm going to cut this piece into four equal pieces. So we have four equal pieces here. So now of the land that we can access, some of it is not necessarily ideal for crop growth. Some pieces of it are too rocky, where it's too hard for plants to grow. Some pieces of it are too hot, where plants can't grow. And some pieces are too wet. So I'm gonna place the rocky, wet, and hot lands over here since we cannot grow crops in there. Now lastly we have the piece of soil that remains that's the livable land. The livable land is the area of the earth where humans can exist on. We can have our schools, our roads, our area to grow crops, to do all sorts of things. However, areas where we have buildings or our roads, our schools, and things like that, we don't farm there because they're covered. Or even the area underneath those places are covered and we can't farm. So only a portion of that livable land can be used for farming. And so if we take off the peel of this apple, ever so ruggedly. So this is the area that buildings and land still exist on and we exist on as humans, but only this portion, the skin, is the layer of soil that we can actually grow food in. So in the end of our apple demonstration, we only have this little peel of soil is the amount that we have left. So. Let's compare this back to a full-size apple. If this is the whole earth, and only this little part of the peel is the amount of usable soil we can use for farmland, that's an incredibly small amount, right? So this just reminds us that with such limiting amounts of usable land, we have to take care of our soil. And farmers every day are going through agricultural practices to make sure that they have sustainable soil, meaning they can use it every year, and that they can continue to produce the food that you and I eat every day. Thank you.